Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. Imagine seeing a cube of gold weighing 410 pounds on your morning jog in Central Park, New York. Perhaps maybe you saw it if you were out there yesterday. Indeed, this was there. Here's the photographic evidence of it. Amazing. This is 410 pounds of pure 24 karat gold worth almost $12 million in Central Park, New York. And this is comes to us from a story that I'm referencing here uh, from news.artnet.com and was shared with me by one Silver Honda. What an amazing story this is. Let's explore. Now, I'm recording this video the day that this was at the park, but it's not there anymore. So if you were to take a jog in this exact location, uh, you would not see it. A cube made from almost $12 million worth of gold is sitting in Central Park and has its own security detail. Well, it was sitting there. The German artist Nicholas Costello is, of course, launching a cryptocurrency alongside the physical work. So here is a chance to educate the public through art on the value of gold, and he's launching a cryptocurrency, an NFT. We'll talk about that here later. Still, I think it's a good thing. <coughs> this thing is four nines fine pure gold, and it was installed in Central Park for one day only on Wednesday, February the 2nd. You'll see this video on the 3rd. Yesterday, joggers in New York Central Park may have come across a curious, rather illustrious sight. A cube comprised of 186 kilograms of pure 24 karat gold conceived by the German artist Nicholas Costello, who has billed it as a conceptual Sosle de Monde, base of the world sculpture for our time. It was wheeled out to the Nomberg Bandshell this morning, or yesterday morning, at 5 a.m. Although the work is not for sale, according to the artist team, based on the current price of gold at $1,788, and actually it's over $1,800 as I record this video, its material worth is, is around, well, close to closer to $12 million now, flanked by a heavy security detail. The 410-pound work is set to be displayed in the park until the day's end. That day is now over. In a message sent uh, yesterday morning to Artnet News, Costello called the work a conceptual work of art in all its facets. He said the idea was to create something that is beyond our world, that is intangible. And so... As with all things in 2022, an accompanying cryptocurrency is being launched alongside the physical artwork, the Costello coin, traded as dollar sign cast. It's available for purchase online at an initial price of about 44 cents each, that's 39 euro cents, with the accompanying NFT auction scheduled for the 21st of February. And here we can see a picture of it being uh, cast. What an amazing feat that is just to uh, just to construct this thing and to cast it. The cube can be seen as sort of a communique between an emerging 21st century cultural ecosystem based off crypto, based on crypto, an ancient world where gold reigns supreme, says the Viennese art uh, gallerist Lisa Kandholfer, who was in New York for the artworks launch. According to Castello's team, a uh, golden cube was cast at a foundry in Aurora, Switzerland, requiring a special handmade kiln in order to withstand both the sheer size and volume of gold, as well as the extreme temperatures needed to melt it, reaching up to 1,100 degrees Celsius. The cube measures over a foot and a half on all sides and has a wall thickness of about a quarter inch. Later, uh, yesterday evening rather, in fact, it's probably happening as I record this video. The sculpture will make its way to a private dinner on Wall Street, where numerous celebrities are said to be attending. It would be very interesting to see 
what that looks like um, or what, a celebra what celebrities attend. Here is a look at the cube in comparison to the artist. What an amazing view this is. And when you think about it, this cube, uh, 410 pounds, and we've heard this, we saw the dimensions there. Let's actually take a look at that again, what the dimensions of the cube are. And uh, let's see here. It's over a foot and a half. So it's a foot and a half on all sides. And all of the gold ever um, uh, created and mined in the world could fit in a cube 21 meters on all sides. And this is a foot and a half. So you think about it, that's a pretty good chunk of gold there, especially if it's 410 pounds and that many kilos, 186, 186 kilos, I think it said there. Um, yes, 186 kilograms. Wow. Four nines fine pure gold. Yes, that's a lot of riches. Amazing. <clears throat> he was born in 1978 in East Germany. Costello currently lives between New York and Switzerland and is known largely for his sculptures and paintings, partly inspired by artists like Jean-Michael Basquiat and Andy Warhol. Costello's previous works lean heavily on imagery from pop and pop and consumer culture. His cube can, in some respects, be compared to Damien Hirst's infamous diamond-encrusted skull, a memento mori that is also commentary on art's endless entanglement in money and capital or Piero Manzoni's tongue-in-cheek provocation, Artist Shit, 1961, a tin can containing the artist's feces, which he sold for its weight in gold. Yeah, I think I'd pass on that one. But And I think really this thing does embody riches for sure. But after its one-day exhibition, where will the Castello Cube go next? The artist team has, far, has so far remained tight-lipped about that, one thing is for certain, however, Central Park just got a lot more bling. And there was, obviously, again, some guards uh, around protecting it, for sure, during that time. But, you know, you really would uh, need uh, several people to lift that thing up. Probably take three or four people uh, to lift this sucker up to haul it out of there. But there it is. What an amazing thing. Uh, incredible cube there. Um, and I think it'll be very interesting to see where this thing goes, just like the the uh, the Canadian million dollar coins that went on display. This cube could certainly serve as a as an amazing reminder of the value of gold in such a small space. If you think about it, a foot and a half. Look at it here, and you look. This cube is in front of him. It's not beside him, so it look, it really is bigger. It looks bigger than really what it is there. It's, it appears larger than, than it is if it was standing next to him. Uh, but amazing to think about. Uh, a foot, that's it, on either side, all sides there. And 400 pounds, that's how dense gold is, folks. It's an amazing metal. And I think this is another example of something that hit, and this is not major news site, obviously, but as we start to see this thing uh, make its way around in different locations, I think it could really bring some buzz and some attention to gold and obviously his cryptocurrency as well. But I don't care about the cryptocurrency. I think it's cool that it's gold. Fascinating indeed. If you enjoy stories like this, I hope you will consider um, subscribing if you haven't done so already. And maybe pressing that thumbs up button as well. Helps get the word out there. I enjoy stories like this, and many of them come from folks like you, like Silver Hondu, who sent this to me. So fascinating indeed. So there you have it. Let me know what your thoughts are on this amazing story. And uh, as it does travel around, there may be photos and a story about its, uh, its, uh, its little night with the celebrities on Wall Street. And if that does come out, I will do a story on that as well. I want to follow this thing. I think it's neat. Pretty cool. Who knows? Maybe they will make small one-ounce versions of this as well. There is a company called Manet uh, that does uh, sculpture. They do dice, gold dice, and I actually bought a guitar pick from them, a 24-karat gold guitar pick. I will link that in the description of this video. It's the world's most valuable guitar pick. Um, so I hope you'll watch that video as well. Very interesting indeed. So I hope you enjoyed this story. Fascinating. 
Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch this video and to encourage you to please rate, share, and don't be square. Be a cube.